Hey everyone, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we're going to be covering prefixes and suffixes. So what exactly are prefixes and suffixes? Well, a prefix is a word part that comes at the beginning of certain words. And a suffix is a word part that comes at the end of certain words. And I say certain words because not all words have prefixes and suffixes. The word dog, for example, has no prefix or suffix. The word chair has none either. And neither does the word run. And these are all very common words. So it's important to remember that prefixes and suffixes are only used with certain words, not all words. Anyway, prefixes and suffixes change the meaning of the words they're attached to. For example, I could have the word like which is a positive feeling, a positive thing. But if I add the prefix dis to it, it becomes dislike, which is the opposite. To dislike something means you have a negative feeling towards it. You don't like it. Or maybe I have the word happy, and I add the prefix un. Well, now I have unhappy, which is quite different from happy. Now, there are tons and tons of prefixes, but some common ones are dis, miss, un, re, pre, im, and in. Again, these are not all the prefixes in English, but they're just some common ones. Now let's talk about suffixes. Perhaps I have the word teach. That's an action. I can do that. I can teach. But what if I add the suffix able to it? Well, now I have teachable, which is no longer an action, but a description. If someone can be taught, if it is possible to teach them, then we would say that they are teachable. Or maybe I have the word hope. Hope is an idea, a concept, it's a noun. But if I add the suffix full to the end of it, it becomes hopeful, which is a description, an adjective. Someone who has a lot of hope is hopeful. Some common suffixes would be able, ism, ship, ness, meant, less, iv, and us. Now, some words don't just have a prefix or a suffix, they have both. For example, let's take the word respect. Now, respect is an idea, it's a concept. We show respect, we earn respect. But what if I added the prefix dis to it? Well, now we have disrespect, which is also an idea, it's also a concept, but it's much more negative. It's the opposite of what I just had. And what if I then add the suffix full? Well, now I have the word disrespectful, which is a description of someone or something that is not showing a lot of respect, that's maybe treating someone or something poorly. Okay, let's look at one more example and then we'll try some practice. How about we start with the word use? Use is an action, we use things. But what if I add the prefix re to it? Well, now it becomes reuse, which means to use something again, to use something another time. And what if I then add the suffix able? Well, now I have the word reusable, which is no longer an action, but a description of something, something that can be used more than once. Maybe a water bottle, maybe a grocery bag. So once again, a prefix is a word part that goes at the beginning of some words, not all. And a suffix is a word part that comes at the end of certain words. Not all words have prefixes and not all words have suffixes. However, Certain words have both. Now let's try some practice. I want you to identify the prefix and or suffix in each word below. Okay, let's look at painless. Well, the base word of painless is pain, meaning less would be our suffix. Moving on to decision. Well, what is our base word of decision? What word does the word decision come from? Answer is decide. But that base word's been cut off and changed a little bit. And that's because of the suffix I-O-N. Okay, how about remove? Well, remove comes from the word move. So we should know that our prefix is re. How about preview? Well, our base word here is view, meaning our prefix would be pre. Okay, enjoyable. Well, the base word of enjoyable is enjoy, meaning we would have the suffix able. How about replacement? Well, the base word is place, 
meaning we have both a prefix, re, and a suffix, ment. How about window? Well, what's the base word of window? Window, right? The base word is the whole word. And so here we have neither a prefix nor a suffix. And remember, I've said this multiple times, not every word you see is going to have a prefix or a suffix. So don't just go looking for one on every single word. And finally, inactivity. Well, the base word is active, meaning we yet again have a prefix, in, and a suffix, I-T-Y. Awesome. Well, whether you came here for a refresher or are just now learning this stuff for the first time, hope this video helped. Be sure to check out the free practice down in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.